Next question is from Joe D. Fury. Are front squats the incline bench for legs, and should you be able to front squat the same weight as back squat? Yeah, I don't understand the first part of that. Are front squats <laughs> the incline bench for? Oh, I oh, see what I see what's going on. Basically, yeah, yeah, like basically getting a different angle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you kind of say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is on some oh, level. Oh, I, they're two different exercises. Yeah, I know they're both squats, but they're both very different. And that's why I think that just like incline bench is very different from flat bench. I mean, I think that's a I think it's a good analogy. You it could, is. You could say that it is front squats. You know, what's funny is I would have. Cl- clients uh front squat before i'd have them back squat these are th- these were my newer you know clients who kind of getting into squatting mm-hmm. um and i wouldn't have them squat by the way they were front squatting a dowel it wasn't like a weight and by the way that's like an old trainer hack I yeah mean, that, that helps get somebody in that good posture Correct. where their chest is up high which is sometimes a hard cue to get people to do when they do a back squat that's exactly right. why i would do it yeah. yeah front squats you're you're going to be much more upright you're going to be typically you'll feel it a little bit more in the quads it's like upper mid back stabilization on the back of your body. You can typically lift more. You're going to be bending forward a little bit more, so you tend to feel it more in the back of your body. Um, and uh, it's it's uh, again, you can just lift more. Oh, that getting way, more, yeah. Back squat, you're getting more glute, right? So yeah. you're getting you're getting a, a stronger muscle to help. So the posterior chain's involved in the back back loaded squat more than the front loaded squat, and so. That's where you get the, the the ability to lift a lot more. You're asking, you're you're calling upon a bigger, yeah. stronger muscle to aid in that. But they yeah. both have tremendous value, and they're both different exercises. Yeah, if I ever want to like really hammer my legs and just just get them to really develop, I'll do I'll go back squats, then I'll go front squats. I mean that Ugh. combination in one workout, in the same is, workout. Yeah, in the same workout. Ugh. Yeah, and I'm not going like uh, you know if I'm doing a lot of volume, I'm not going super heavy. But man, does that really work and develop my legs like nothing else? There's almost no combination. <laughs> Uh, that I found to be as effective, those two. Yeah, there was one point, I mean, I was doing a lot more of like power cleans. Mm -hmm. And so that was very advantageous, obviously, to be able to get in the catch position really efficiently and then be able to dig my way out. And so I was getting pretty strong at at front squats. But, uh, you know, the the time in between of not doing them for a while and then coming back, man, it's a shell shock if you don't incorporate it. uh, You know, like I like to like throw it in every at least two to three months. I do like how they compared this to the incline bench. and, and And I do think, and I went through a kick where I was trying to catch my front squat up to my back squat knowing Mm. that it probably wouldn't happen. I still set a goal. Like, let's see if I can get it close, just like I did with my incline bench. And I I saw tremendous value Mm -hmm. uh, in doing that. So I do think that's a, if you've never done that before where you said, ah, you know what, I'm going to train for a while and really focus on the front squat and try and catch it up. I think you'll see incredible development in your legs. Well, the best squatters in the world, in my opinion, are Olympic lifters. I know power lifters are known for the weight, the the massive amounts of weight that they squat, but I think Olympic uh, lifters are, uh, I would have to say, the best. In terms of technique. Just just power and strength and technique and form and all stuff. And Olympic lifters do a lot of front squats. A lot. Power lifters don't do a lot of front squats. They do some, but they don't do a lot. And so using that as an example, I'd say, I mean, the front squat is very, very valuable. And I think, in my opinion, uh, it should make its way into your routine pretty regularly. Maybe not as regularly as a back squat, but pretty regularly. I think it should be there. 